Hi again, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to use uh, click view pivot tables um, but more of a design aspect to it using colors instead of uh, numbers. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new chart pivot table. I'm going to add the year, the weekday and the week number and at the moment I'm just going to say equals um, blank. Um, at the moment, um, actually I'm going to go back into properties, I'm going to go into presentation and choose uh, always fully expanded. So the next step is we're going to create a variable, this will all make sense in a minute. Um, I'm going to add a variable, it's going to be called V pivot color. And the expression is going to be equals 255 divided by um, the max aggregate sum profit. Oops. By date. So basically, you're dividing. Uh, the number which will make sense now in a few minutes so it's the max aggregate sum of profit by date so it's going to click OK there I'm going to go back into the properties of the pivot table in the um, expression for the background color I'm going to say equals A or G B which is the alpha um, red green blue uh, sum profit multiplied by the variable we just created which is the variable pivot color comma zero this is the RGB so comma zero comma and I'm going for 130 which is a kind of a blue color um, I'm just going to apply that and click OK so at the moment actually I'm going to click on you can see it's starting to, you can see colors there, but it's, it's still not making sense yet. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click weekday and drag it across. Um, I'm going to bring this back slightly, actually, maybe bring the year. Actually, I'll come into properties again. Uh, presentation, vertical text, and column labels. Um, back into properties, I'm going to align everything center. Stretch it out a little bit. The next thing, go into properties again. I'm going to change the font size to A. Drag that over a little bit. Um, all right, it's starting to look like the way it's supposed to look like, except the year. Okay. There we have it. So basically what we have is we've week numbers, we have the year, the weekday across the top, year 2010, and the colour for the Monday in week one is basically is how dark or how bright that colour is depending on the, the profit we made on that day. So for example, if we look over here, um, I don't think I have a, a set analysis for that day, but if we choose the Monday we can see... Um, No, it's not there actually, but it, it, anyway, I'll carry on. Um, so you can see 2010, so did it, you know, that was a weekday for a profit. That was, uh, that Monday of week 19 was pretty good, but the Thursday of week 19 was pretty poor. Uh, again, we can switch to 2011. So if you go from 2010 to 2011 straight away, you can see there's some huge differences between uh, the profit made in each year. Um, you can switch to countries, so Greece is pretty scattered, uh, Bangladesh, Denmark, Slovenia, Estonia. So you can see how 
using colors within the pivot is kind of makes more sense in a lot of ways than using the numbers themselves just on another note i basically i've learned this through a guy um called matt crowder who has a you can get him on the twitter at qv design and he has some amazing stuff so i figured this out through stuff on his blog um, and got it to work for this test file that i've been using since i started uh, doing tutorials on youtube and let's clear that selection and um, that's pretty much it i hope it helps and i'll uh, see you next video cheers